So I'm currently a doctoral student in clinical psychology. In the end? Psychology? In clinical psychology. Clinical psychology, okay. Um, I'm about to enter a practicum at a prison site, actually, and I was wondering about your words of wisdom for, in terms of individual intervention with prisoners. And in how terms I, of, in, you know, the, the, the acoustics here aren't that good, so maybe you just stand up. But. In terms, I was just wondering about your words of wisdom in terms of individual intervention with prisoners and what individual I Individual mean, interaction with prisoners, okay. I think it's because the uh, speakers are focused in your direction, not in my direction. But anyway, uh, um, individual interactions with uh, prisoners. I guess one of the reasons why I uh, liked the documentary to a certain extent was because uh, we saw the President of the United States uh, sitting down in a circle with people who are uh, denied their freedom um, and having interesting conversations. Uh, 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 the, 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 the process of criminalizing vast numbers of people has uh, involved a process of dehumanization and uh, the uh, failure to recognize how much potential is locked up in prisons and men's prisons and women's prisons. Uh, and I always have to say that that, that, that uh, binary, gender binary, of course, uh, helps to support our notion of, of gender in the so-called free world. Uh, so we have to question uh, even the, the use of, of such uh, uh, a, 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 a gendering system, gendering apparatus. Uh, but I think that traffic between the free world and the imprisoned world is extremely important. Uh, and this is a time uh, when it is becoming increasingly possible to um, uh, have interaction uh, in ways that, as a result of the passage of the 1994 uh, Violent Crime Act and, uh, uh, that Clinton was responsible for, um, connections between the free world and the imprisoned world were really limited. Uh, as a matter of fact, as a direct result of that act that Clinton um, uh, signed, uh, all of, virtually all of the educational um, infrastructures within state and federal prisoners were dismantled. That is to say, many institutions such as this had degree-granting programs in prisons because the, uh, um, they were funded by, uh, by the Pell Grants, and that act prevented Pell Grants from being used for prisoners. All of those programs disappeared. And so now we're just beginning to rebuild uh, the infrastructure of, of educational institutions behind walls. New York University has developed over the last year a really interesting um, education program where many of the professors are teaching in, in prisons. And I would encourage people to think about that. Uh, and let me tell you that every single person I know who has taught in a prison, and I've, I, I've had the same experience myself, has indicated that they acquired far more from that experience than, that, than they were able to offer their students. So they learned so much more. Uh, uh, one, one friend of mine who's a, a very prominent historian uh, went in to teach at an institution in uh, Illinois and assign one of his books uh, for um, the students, the prisoners to read. And when he held that session, uh, a number of the prisoners, it turned out, had not only read that book, but they had read every single book he had written. <laughs> and they were, they were uh, saying, uh, well, uh, Dr. Rodiger, here you said this, but in, in your other book you made this <laughs> But he said he was like totally blown away. Uh, 
And, and so I, I think it's really good to encourage those kinds of interactions. And as a psychologist, uh, of course, uh, you, you always have to um, uh, try to work with and against the training that you have. <laughs> the training is really important. These institutions are really important. Knowledge is, is absolutely essential. But as I always point out, this is not the only place where knowledge is produced. one with the monopoly of knowledge uh, and that uh, it will be a one-way relationships in, term, in terms of the sharing of knowledge. Be willing to learn uh, as well as to teach.